Hari Laran Market is the life for many people in Timor Leste, including the nine-year-old Bendito. Despite his age, he has to help his family earn an income so that his brother can go to school. Timor Leste obtained its independence in 2002, after decades of violent occupation. Timor Leste is still in the process of rebuilding its infrastructure and improving the quality of healthcare and education for the people. Petroleum is the country's main source of income. The government depends on oil to help people like Bendito. For Timor Leste, oil is like everything. So we, everybody hopes that oil can bring a lot of prosperity, a lot of security, a lot of stabilization for this country. Timor Leste's oil dream has a reason. Bayundan and Greater Sunrise are the two sites which have already been proven to be oil rich. However, the potential for locating other oil reserves may be possible with further explorations. In the case of Bayu Undan, uh, before we hit the profit well, this was before 2007, uh, Timor Leste received every month uh, on average, uh, an FTP of 10 to 20 million dollars US. But ever since we hit the profit, or profit well since the 2007, we now receive on a monthly basis, on average, we received, for Timor Leste case only, on average about 80 to 100, in a range of 80 to 100 uh, million dollars. That's not including tax. In 2005, Timor-Leste established a petroleum fund. All tax and royalty received from petroleum projects are paid directly into the petroleum fund. In 2010, the petroleum fund has reached the amount of 6.6 .6 billion US dollar. Every year, only a small percentage of the fund can be used to fund the state budget. This mechanism is done to ensure sustainability. Although income from petroleum is promising to the young country, history tells us that oil can also bring a curse. Having a lot of money also brings with it a lot of problems, particularly if the institutions of our state are weak if the institutions of our civil society still do not have the capacity to manage the public expenditure of funds, uh, then uh, corruption sets in, uh, waste sets in. So it's very, very important that with the transparent processes that are made compulsory by this EITI um, uh, process, uh, our people can see how we are managing our petroleum wealth Timor Leste is the most dependent country in the world on exporting oil and gas. It's uh, four times larger than the rest of the economy. It's 95% of state revenues. We are, everything that the government does, everything that the state does, comes from spending oil revenues. And when oil revenues are that large, and when there's so little of the rest of the economy, it's very important that oil revenues get used properly. And without transparency, there is no way that people can know how the, the primary source of our revenue is operating. An important milestone for transparency was achieved in July 2010, when Timor-Leste reached compliance status with the Extractive Industries Transparency Initiative, or EITI. Timor Leste is the third country in the world and the first in Asia Pacific that has achieved an EITI compliance status. Former Prime Minister Mari Al Khatiri was the one that first engaged Timor Leste into EITI. Having an organization like EITI watching you and helping you to, to, to really to upgrade your uh, your capacity, it's, it's already an, uh, a way to help you. But uh, you need to, be, to, 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 to make uh, an option. Uh, governments of Timor-Leste has to consider this, uh, the, 
uh, these uh, partnerships with ITI as a very important for the country. If you start seeing that the money is yours and nobody has the right to, to interfere because of the, uh, your sovereignty, and then you are starting, you are beginning on the whole process to, 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 for, for, to provoke a curse here in, uh, in, in this country. Well, in the petroleum sector, uh, Timor-Leste as a nation has uh, spent uh, quite a bit of time and has put a lot of effort into ensuring uh, that uh, the petroleum sector uh, is done in a very transparent manner. Uh, right from the beginning, uh, the first government uh, put Timor-Leste into the process of EITI. That was as far back as 2003. And uh, my current government, uh, we pursued uh, that initiative and we took it to the highest level possible. We created our Timor-Leste EITI working group a couple of years ago and we last, late, last, late last year we produced Timor-Leste first EITI report then we went through a so-called validation process, uh, which is to validate our standard by, by independent consultant. And they have recommended to the ITI board that Timor-Leste is a compliant country. And we are, then the board recommended that Timor-Leste is the first the ITI uh, country, a compliant country in Asia Pacific. The oil revenue report that EITI publishes every year benefit various stakeholders in Timor-Leste. That is to say, what we pay to governments is made clear to everyone. That gives us a certain level of comfort. That we can come and work and invest um, in a transparent environment. Um, it is one of the factors uh, that makes it attractive for us to work in uh, a country when the environment is transparent and EITI is one part of it. As, as a member of parliament uh, it is sometimes difficult to get information uh, uh, from government or from oil companies so having um, that uh, the information available because we have to be compliant voluntarily to AT enables me to get access to data in ways that I wasn't able to get before and also it's secure it's 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 reliable data that is uh, based on international best practice uh, that gives me the security to be able to use it in the formulation of policy e ai ti ne bati morni sai importante tebe stamba at non è bella transparency e ma hot bella tene o san hira ma ka governo simo ho si compagnia mai ho si mina ta se timor e compagnia mo declara hira ma ka sira sira ba governo e at non è e ma bella tene e e ho si transparency ne bella o san ne bella benefici ba povo the World Bank and the Norwegian government have been strong supporters of Timor-Leste's involvement in EITI. So the, the bank through its oil and gas, uh, oil, gas and mining unit supports the implementation of EITI principles of revenue transparency, uh, which in the oil and gas sector is a, is a critical element in the value chain of natural resource management. Um, in, in Timor, obviously, good governance along that chain is one of the major factors in the country's development efforts. Um, we, you know, we therefore congratulate Timor Leste on achieving compliance with the ITI principles, which further builds on a good track record of transparency. Two years ago, I helped organizing a big conference on petroleum revenue management in Cambodia. And Timor Leste gave a very significant contribution to this conference sharing their experience in the EITI. Just as Norway has been honored to share our experience with Timor-Leste, we now see that Timor-Leste is sharing their experience with other countries. Transparency is a critical step to improve the management of petroleum revenue. However, 
much still needs to be done in order to ensure that Timor-Leste's oil income can benefit the whole population. All EITI stakeholders in Timor-Leste are mobilized for this to happen. AT gives us the, the front bit of transparency. The middle and the end bit needs to still be developed by the government of Timor-Leste, the national parliament, as well as the whole civic society and media in order for our democratic processes to produce the necessary checks and balances for good governance.